Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone. Dental care can be a window just to your overall health. Joining us this morning, just to talk a little bit more about it, we have Senior Vice President and Nurse Angela Williams. Good morning. Good morning. That's from Great Lakes Bay Health Centers and Mobile Dental Coordinator Jenny Lee Kaiser. Thanks for being here, Jenny Lee. Thank you. All right. So, Angela, what's important for people to know in regards to dental health care? Well, first of all, we're excited to share that Great Lakes Bay Health Services um, implements um, dental care for adults and children. Okay. But what's important for the public to know is that oral health is essential to your general health. And according to Centers for Disease Control, one in four adults ages 20 to 64 have at least one untreated cavity, which mm. is astounding to me. And in addition, something else that I found out that this is impactful and profound as school-age children lose 34 million hours of lost school hours every year because of unplanned dental emergencies and I thought mm -hmm. that is extraordinary. So Great Lakes, we rep recognize the importance of medical dental integration between oral health and chronic disease, and mm -hmm. Jenny Lee will share some of our services with us today. Yes, of course, and this is all offered at Great Lakes Bay Health Centers, um, and, and tell us, what are those services? So we have five dental offices in the mid-Michigan area, and we also have four fully functional mobile dental units. So um, our mobile dental offices, we do offer comprehensive care anywhere from your cleaning, exam, fluoride treatment, um, to also so some other restorative and treatment needs. That's a case-by-case -case basis per patient. Okay. On the mobile dental buses, we try to keep it more preventative. Um, your cleaning, your exam, your fluoride treatment, and then from there, we, we can refer you to our offices or back to your dental home for your treatment needs. In what ways has this kind of changed, you know, people taking care of their teeth? Um, it's a convenience. A lot of families, whether they have commercial insurance, state insurance, or no insurance, a lot of parents, a lot of families love the convenience of it. They yeah. say, I don't know how you guys have done it, but you actually have children excited to go on the dental bus. <laughs> and what we're fighting against is um, dental cavities are actually the most common childhood disease. Mm. So unknown to a lot of people, it's something that's fully preventable and we're, we're just trying to fight against that. Absolutely. What are some of those medical conditions that can impact your overall health that stem from oral health care? Uh, tobacco use, chewing tobacco, smoking, diabetes are two of the risk factors for gum disease. Mm. Uh, the prevalence of untreated tooth decay in children ages two to five, especially in low income households, is three times higher than those in a higher income house household. Yeah. And then the prevalence of uh, health disparities related to oral health are higher in the black and brown community. And in addition to that, some of the medical implications uh, related to dental or lack of oral health care are heart disease, diabetes, and one which is really significant is why it's important for pregnant moms mm. to get dental care during their pregnancies is negative outcomes. Okay. And in addition, oral cancer. That's very significant as well as other uh, types of cancer related to periodontal uh, disease. Wow. Yeah, it's a kind of eye-opening right there. Yep, um, it is. Jenny Lee, how often is it recommended to get a dental exam? Um, that's decided per patient. Okay. Um, with, after their exam with their dentist, that is going to be assessed. Some patients that have a little bit of a higher cavity risk or some of these diseases that Angela touched on here, it's going to be recommended for about every three months. If you're just in for your routine care and we're just trying to do maintenance, it's going to be more of six months. So a, a good range would be every three to six months. Um, talk to your dental professional about what is right for you. Perfect. And these dental buses, uh, do they change locations or are they pretty much set up in the same Spots. We do. We change locations. Um, we go to, during the school year, which typically runs September through May, we go to over 140 schools um, mid, in, I would say, the mid-Michigan area, but that outreach is growing as well as the need comes up. Yeah. Um, beyond that, summertime when schools aren't in session, we're at Mission of Mercies, soup kitchens, um, rehabilitation facilities, helping out the adult community that just can't find somewhere to go or the hours don't work for them at any dental offices. Yeah. And any special programs? programs that children can get right now? Yes, actually right now in Saginaw County this coming year we have the kindergarten oral health assessments that are going to be required for any student entering kindergarten in the Saginaw County area. Um, so on Wednesdays our Warren Avenue has actually opened up walk-in hours um, 
9 a.m. until 3 p.m. every Wednesday until August 14th for the rest of the summer to help out families. Those are free. Um, you do not need dental insurance to have those done. Perfect. And right before school time. Absolutely. Yeah. Back to school checkups. <laughs> of course. Those are important. Mm -hmm. Angela, any other health remarks that you want to make before we end? Sure. I have to remind the public mm -hmm. and our viewers to maintain good oral health care by flossing, mm -hmm. brushing your teeth, and getting those dental checkups as a means of preventive care. We at Great Lakes, we want to remind everyone that we are accepting new patients. We, everyone is welcome regardless of your ability to pay. We accept public and private insurance and uninsured. We help people register for insurance plans. Okay. Also, this is a great time to take care of your general health, your vaccines, and unfortunately, as I always say, the C word is still out there, COVID. Mm. Pay attention to those uh, safety precautions and know your health care status. Perfect. This is a great information to have. Jenny Lee, Angela, thanks for coming in this thanks. morning. Thank you. You're very welcome. And you can always find more information on this by going to our hot link section on WNEM.com.